In today's video, we'll be checking out the Lidum 30 LED solar motion sensor spotlights from Amazon. These retail for $65.99 and come in a four pack. Let's take a look at what's inside this box. The Lidum 30 LEDs solar motion spotlights may be the perfect landscape spotlights for you. But before you purchase them, stick around for this full video review where we'll be testing them, pulling them out of the box, and giving you our full opinion. Initially, we are met with the LED head, which has the 30 LEDs, as well as a motion sensor on the front. This sensor will trigger the light when anything comes within 33 feet or 10 meters of this spotlight. These are a two-in-one spotlight, so in addition to the head, they do include these stands, which after unscrewing this and putting it down, we can simply put in and then we can stake this into the ground or two in ones, two in ones. What's the second thing? There are screw holes here on the bracket for this to go into the wall of your house or wherever you would like to screw these in, shed, etc. The solar panel on the top is rated at 1.5 watts and has a 20% photoelectric conversion rate. The solar panel powers the 2200 milliamp hour battery, which powers the 30 LEDs in front in the three different modes for a duration of 12 hours in the dim mode, six hours in the medium mode, and 150 triggers at 30 seconds a piece of the high brightness mode. What does that mean? 75 minutes in the high brightness mode. That's enough talking though, let's actually get this fired up. There is a button on the back which allows you to cycle through the three modes. I don't expect these to have a lot of charge at this point because I just pulled them out of the box. There's four of them, just so you're aware. There we go, direct light without obstructions, best weather under strong light, cool directions on this one, thank you. Additionally, there is some mounting hardware if you decide to screw these into your wall. And then the final three stakes and some directions. Time to power this on. Let's use the button on the back. I'm gonna assume that this is a dim mode. Oh, okay, so it tells you what mode it's in by how many times it blinks. So, if I press it once, it's in mode one. And mode one is the I'll figure it out as I go. So, let's try mode one. We cover the solar panel. Okay, so I'd assume that this is not the brightest. Let's go now to the next mode, which is a little brighter. That's the medium. Two, three, and then I'd assume mode number three is the brightest and it looks like it is fully powering those 30 LEDs for a total output of 800 lumens. Now compared to a similar outdoor spotlight, usually those are only 200 lumens. It's hard to test fully though in the studio, so we will take these outside and give them a shot. Before we do that though, I just wanna go over the construction of the lights themselves. So far, I don't see anything of concern. It is a hard ABS plastic on the outside, which I'm curious to see how long they will last in our very frigid climate at times. Uh, but I don't think these are going to bust. The bracket is actually surprisingly sturdy uh, from what I thought it was gonna be. Just don't clip it off with your mower or anything like that. And when you put the stake in, that is going that far into the ground, so it's not gonna fly away in a tornado unless it just psh, But if this flies off, you probably have other problems. Take this, go outside, test it out. We are outside, it is dark, it is cold, all to give you an accurate representation of how well this LED spotlight performs. I'm gonna set you down on the ground and then we're gonna go through the three different modes and you'll see how well you can see me. Right now I'm filming on my iPhone 11, so hopefully this gives you some semblance of what you would actually see with your eyes. But we can't exactly reproduce that with the camera. Here's us trying. So as you can see, the LED spotlight is dead center. I'm now going to give you a taste of the three different brightness levels. Right now it is set to brightness level one. Here we are. 
I'm about 10 feet away from the LED spotlight. A little bit lighter outside with the moon being almost a full moon. A bit spooky. Time for number two. How do we tell that it changes? Well, I click the button. It'll blink twice and then go to full mode. This is brightness level two. Same distance away so you can compare. There's a marsh behind me. Maybe you can start to see some of that. Last but not least, the brightest of the bright, numero three. And here we go. This one doesn't stay on as long. So, bada bing, the spotlight you always wanted. Now, if someone comes in our backyard, they're totally getting lit up because our yard isn't that big. Anyways, hopefully that's a good enough test for you. If you have any other questions, comment below. So now that you've seen these spotlights in action, it's time for you to make the final decision. If you do decide to purchase these, please use the link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please use the comment section. I will have these lights in hand to give my full opinions on as we use them. So I wanna hear it. Lastly, don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. Thanks for watching folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Bird out.